Hi, I'm Steve with the Cleveland Vibrator Company. I'm here today to talk to you about how you can operate a three-phase vibrator using a 120 volt or 240 volt single phase power supply. So looking at our setup here, we have our variable frequency drive. What this allows you to do, it will accept your single phase power supply and it will output 230 volt three-phase to power the vibrator here. Taking a look at the drive itself, um, this is a outdoor rated unit. It is NEMA 4X enclosure. It is IP66 rated, so it's dust tight, water tight, so it can be used in all the elements outside. Here we have our vibratory motor. Um, this is our standard dual voltage motor. It's rated for 230 volt or 460 volt. Uh, for this particular setup, we're gonna go ahead and wire it for a 230 uh, volt operation. All right, so now that we have um, our unit set up here, it's time to wire it up. Our first step is going to take your uh, single phase power into the line one and line two uh, on the terminal strip here. Over here, we have our power supply from the vibratory motor. You're gonna wire it up to these terminals here. And the last step to that is running a jumper from pin one to pin two in the terminal strip above. Okay, now that we have the VFD and the vibrator wired up, what we have to do next is make sure that all of the parameters of the VFD are set up correctly. For your convenience, we've attached a copy of the parameter settings in this video, but what I'd like to do now is go ahead and show you a couple of the first parameters and how to set those up so you understand what you see. First, you're gonna select the navigation button and press down for two seconds. First parameter is your maximum frequency. By pressing the navigation button again, it will show you that it's set for 60 hertz. That's the default setting for parameter one, and that is what it should be. So go ahead and hit the navigation button again. We're gonna go ahead and look at parameter two. We're gonna go ahead and select that. Parameter two is our minimum frequency, and since the vibrator manufacturer uh, recommends not running it below 30 hertz, we're gonna go ahead and get that up to 30 hertz as our minimum frequency. So with 30 hertz selected, we're gonna go ahead and hit that navigation button again. And to exit the parameters, you're gonna go ahead and hold the navigation button down for two more seconds. All right, now that we have the vibrator wired up and the VFT hooked up, parameters are set, we are okay to go ahead and start the unit. Uh, to run the unit, you're gonna go ahead and press the green button. To adjust your frequency, you're gonna simply use the arrows located here. To decrease the frequency, go ahead and press the down button to whatever frequency you need it. And to stop the drive, go ahead and press the red button. Okay, so that's how you're going to hook up your three-phase vibrator using your 115 volt, 240 volt single phase power supply. Any questions, please feel free to contact us at sales at clevelandvibrator.com. Thank you.